Hey, welcome back to another video in our C Sharp series. We're working with files, inputs, and outputs. And in this video, I'm going to give you a preview of a challenge. So you can see I have a program that's been done already. And the uh, object here is to create the same type of person and save it to a file. So I'm going to put in a new person called Albert Einstein, and his URL is www.science.com. I'll add it to the list. So you can see I've created a, a list box and it prints the data for every person in my group. Now the new part is that I'm going to ask you to click the save to a file button. And what that does is it creates a text file and saves everybody in the list. So let's go see what happened in my folder where I have this file. So I have a thing called a people list or people text. And you can see that when I'm saving my data, I'm saving their names. Let's see if I can get this close side by side here. So you can see I'm saving their names with a comma and only a space to separate them. So let's, let's do another Albert Einstein. I'm going to add him to the list again and save it to the file. Now I'm going to close the file and reopen it. So let's see what people looks like. So you can see Albert Einstein has been added twice. Also, if I were to use the load the file command, let's see what happens. So I'm going to restart the program, and instead of typing in a user, I'm going to choose read from file. And you can see that all of the names that were in my file have been automatically updated there. So let's just test to make sure that that works. So I'm going to go into people. Let's take out Elvis Presley, and now we only have three people. We'll save the results and I will choose read from file again and you can see three. So here's your challenge. You're going to have to create a form and that form is going to create a list of people. When you uh, add an item to the list it will show the list in the list box and uh, you might have to go back and look at some previous work that we've done. So I'll just give you a hint down here. This is a data source and a binding uh, binding service so that you're gonna that's what you're gonna have to look up to figure out how this works and then save and read are going to be very similar to the previous uh, read from file exercises that we just finished and so when you're done here please demonstrate that you can get all of the function of the uh, read and write to a text file using a graphical user interface 